Hey, Florida Travelers, Cressy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Morocco Pavilion, and I'm gonna show you exactly why you need to swing by this area, starting right now. The Morocco Pavilion is one of 11 countries that make up the World Showcase at Epcot. This pavilion is just stunning and has a number of amazing little things that make this pavilion worth checking out. When building this pavilion, it was important to the sponsors and the traditional artists to ensure that the customs of Morocco were honored. Therefore, they used their own artists to create the thousands of tiles and carvings that you see throughout this area. The Morocco Pavilion was one of the only countries in the World Showcase where the government actually participated in the creation of their pavilion. The architecture of the pavilion starts in the ancient history in the back and has more of the modern styles closer to the front. When walking into the Morocco Pavilion, the first thing that's going to catch your eye is the reproduction of the Katobia Mosque in Marrakesh. The original mosque is a 12th century prayer tower, and you can really see just how much detail the artist took to ensure the authenticity of this tower. The other replica in this pavilion is the Bam Boujelud Gate. The original is in Fez and serves as a grand entryway into the old city. So it is fitting to have it here in the Morocco Pavilion just as we walk further back into the area representing more of the ancient history. One of my favorite pieces of the architecture in the pavilion is the Fez House. The Fez House is located on the left-hand side just as you enter the pavilion past the archway. As you walk into the Fez House, you'll notice that the courtyard is decorated almost entirely of tiles. The upper floor is the homeowner's quarters and the style of the home was developed in the 14th century. This house is inspired by traditional Moroccan homes built around a central courtyard. The home provides privacy, allowing the family to close rooms off from the city streets. Within this area of the courtyard, the family can really enjoy a quiet retreat from the outside world. Morocco has two table service restaurants and one quick serve. The two table service restaurants are the Spice Road Table and the Restaurant Marrakesh. We recently visited the Spice Road Table a few months ago for the first time and just loved it. The Spice Road Table was added to the pavilion in 2013 and has a bunch of symbolism within their building. The blue paint in and on the building represents Morocco's coastal cities, while the windows in the indoor dining area represent the Portuguese control and influence it had on Moroccan architecture. The dining room chandeliers are also all different to honor Morocco's diversity. The food at the Spice Road table is tapa styles, which is small plates of delicious food. In combination of that, along with the view of the waterfront, it really is a great choice if you're looking for somewhere to eat for lunch or either dinner within the World Showcase. The other table service restaurant here in Morocco is the restaurant Marrakesh, which is located in the back of the pavilion. We haven't had a chance to eat here yet, and it was temporarily unavailable the last time we were in Epcot, so we'll have to do a review once it opens back up in the future. There are quite a number of shops located in Morocco, most of which are located in the front of the pavilion along the main walkway that sells everything from jewelry, traditional clothing, shoes, and more. There are also a few smaller shops located further within the pavilion as well. The new exhibit at the Morocco Pavilion is the Race Against the Sun. In the Race Against the Sun exhibit, you'll be able to take a closer look at the Marathon of the Sands races that includes race gear and trophies. It isn't a very large exhibit, but we were the only ones that were here, so if you're looking for a place to escape the crowds for a minute, it's a good exhibit to check out. 
Overall, the Morocco Pavilion is just beautiful and you really do have to walk through it to appreciate the detail that the creators took to ensure its authenticity. Well, I hope that you found this information helpful and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more ideas on what you can do here in my beautiful state of Florida. If you want to continue on your tour around the world showcase, make sure to check out my recent video about the Canada Pavilion. Until next time everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.